Last month, the Snake River Sugar Bee Growers Association held their annual farm tour in the Gem State. I recently sat down with Samantha Perry, president of the Snake River Sugar Beet Growers Association, to talk about the tour and how it benefits growers across the region. We hosted our second annual EPA crop tour. It was in western Idaho again, and we feature not just sugar beets, but all of Idaho agriculture. So we showcase water and how irrigation works in the West. And they got to go to a potato farm. They saw onion harvest. We went to an onion packing shed. We saw some seed crops as well. We went to a winery and a vineyard. And really the point of this tour is to bring EPA staff out on the farm and actually interact with the ag producers that use the products. So the EPA staff that come are from the Office of Pesticide Programs So these are the individuals responsible for reviewing new pesticides that are coming to the market, as well as the re-review process that happens 10 to 15 years later after the product's already been on the market. So they are incredibly important regulatory partners. And I think some of the key takeaways for them was, you know, regionally out in the West, we're different than any other region. We have irrigation here. We have a desert climate. We just do things differently. So for them to come see on the ground for themselves was really impactful and really important. And then just hearing from growers about the importance of keeping tools in their toolbox. In sugar beets, we don't have a ton of acres nationwide. And so that hurts us. There's not a ton of new products coming on the market, but we still deal with resistance from products. And so our growers do a great job of rotating their crops and using different chemistries. But with so few tools in the toolbox, we're just really limited in what we can do. And so our main message to EPA was, please keep tools in the toolbox and anything that we can do to work with them to provide information. You know, we want them to use the science. If they go off of the science, we think that, you know, they will keep these tools and that everything will be good. But It was just a really great tour. So we had four staff come out from all over the country. And I really do think that they learned a lot and had a great experience. Once again, that was Samantha Parra, president of the Snake River Sugar Beet Growers Association.